Riboflavin, also known as vitamin B2, is a vitamin found in food and sold as a dietary supplement. Riboflavin was discovered in 1920, isolated in 1933, and first synthesized in 1935. He named riboflavin comes from ribos and flavin, the ring moiety which imparts the yellow color to the oxidized molecule. The reduced form, which occurs in metabolism along with the oxidized form, appears as orange-yellow needles or crystals. In addition to its function as a vitamin, it is used as a food coloring agent. Biosynthesis takes place in bacteria, fungi and plants, but not animals. Industrial synthesis of riboflavin was initially achieved using a chemical process. But current commercial manufacturing relies on fermentation methods using strains of fungi and genetically modified bacteria. Riboflavin, also known as vitamin B2, is a water-soluble vitamin and is one of the B vitamins. In its purified, solid form, riboflavin is a yellow-orange crystalline powder with a slight odor and bitter taste. It is soluble in polar solvents, such as water and aqueous sodium chloride solutions, and slightly soluble in alcohols. It is not soluble in nonpolar or weakly polar organic solvents such as chloroform, benzene or acetone. In solution or during dry storage as a powder, riboflavin is heat-stable if not exposed to light. When heated to decompose, it releases toxic fumes containing nitric oxide. Vitamin B2 is used in treatment of corneal thinning. In its 2012 guidelines, the American Academy of Neurology stated that high-dose riboflavin, 400 mg, is probably effective and should be considered for migraine prevention. A recommendation also provided by the UK National Migraine Centre. A 2017 review reported that daily riboflavin taken at 400 mg per day for at least three months may reduce the frequency of migraine headaches in adults. Research on high-dose riboflavin for migraine prevention or treatment in children and adolescents is inconclusive, and so supplements are not recommended. In humans, there is no evidence for riboflavin toxicity produced by excessive intakes and absorption becomes less efficient as dosage increases. Any excess riboflavin is excreted via the kidneys into urine, resulting in a bright yellow color known as flavonuria. During a clinical trial on the effectiveness of riboflavin for treating the frequency and severity of migraines, subjects were given up to 400 mg of riboflavin orally per day for periods of 3 to 12 months. Abdominal pains and diarrhea were among the side effects reported. Riboflavin deficiency is uncommon in the United States and in other countries with wheat flour or cornmeal fortification programs. Riboflavin deficiency results in stomatitis, symptoms of which include chapped and fissured lips, sore throat, painful red tongue, and hair loss. The eyes can become itchy, watery, bloodshot, and sensitive to light. Riboflavin deficiency is associated with anemia. Prolonged riboflavin insufficiency may cause degeneration of the liver and nervous system. Riboflavin deficiency may increase the risk of preeclampsia in pregnant women. Deficiency of riboflavin during pregnancy can result in fetal birth defects, including heart and limb deformities. People at risk of having low riboflavin levels include alcoholics, vegetarian athletes, and practitioners of veganism. Pregnant or lactating women and their infants may also be at risk, if the mother avoids meat and dairy products. Anorexia and lactose intolerance increase the risk of riboflavin deficiency. People with physically demanding lives, such as athletes and laborers, may require higher riboflavin intake. The assessment of riboflavin status is essential for confirming cases with nonspecific symptoms whenever deficiency is suspected. Total riboflavin excretion in healthy adults with normal riboflavin intake is about 120 micrograms per day, while excretion of less than 40 micrograms per day indicates deficiency. Riboflavin excretion rates decrease as a person ages, but increase during periods of chronic stress and the use of some prescription drugs.